Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to take HCD backup when you are appearing for your CKA or CKAD uh, certification exam. So I've got, I'm getting these queries a lot. I mean people are asking me how to do HCD backup in the exam itself because uh, it can get confusing because what happens, so I'll, I'll show you the scenario what happens. So in exam you mostly get a workstation node, right? So this is your workstation node and then from here you are able to make calls to the cube api server so anything you want to create pod services you just make calls from here which is like a remote uh, administration server and that server makes calls to the cube api server and then you have nodes right and in ck or ckd exam they tell you how to use the context so you just use uh, kubernetes config to switch context and then you are connected to that particular server so the tricky part comes is when it talks about uh, uh, taking the hcd backup because you would be running uh, hcd ctl i mean in my case what happened was that hcd ctl so this is the command you use to take the hcd backup so this command runs on your workstation node right this command runs on your workstation node and if you will see the master there will be no hcd ctl whatever it is right so this becomes confusing that how to take hcd back backup from this remote host when you have hcd ctl running over here but not on cube master. I mean, if I mean, if you've been practicing, you must have been taking the HCD backup directly from the master and that's pretty easy, right? But taking that from a remote node is actually tricky. So that is what I'm going to show you, right? So let's get rid of this. And now I'm going, so as you can see that I'm on my workstation node, which is, so if I make any call, all right, let me get rid of this first. All right. so. If I make any call, kubectl, ctl, get pods. So you can see I'm able to get pods, right? And this is my master node. So let me just clear the screen. And this is my cube master. So I don't have etcd ctl uh, installed or running on this. So to take etcd backup from this workstation node, you need few files, right? So First, I'll show you the commands. I'll show you the command to take the backup, right? And then I'm going to show you uh, from where are you going to get all that information which I have passed in that command, right? Let me just do so. CD. Yeah. So this is the command that takes the HCD backup from the remote working station or remote workstation, uh, right? So let me just go through the option. So this is the API version which you pass uh, when you want to run the HCD CTL command. So there are a couple of more API versions which are available. So HCD API version 2 is also available and that has a different set of command. But we are going to use the HCD uh, CTL API version 3. Then the HCD CTL command which will be available on your workstation, right? Then I'm going to pass an endpoint. So normally if you've been taking your, taking your HCD backup from your master, in this section, you pass your local host IP like 127.0.0.1 or just simply localhost. But since I'm taking the backup from the remote workstation, I'm passing the IP of my master, so private IP of my master. So this is the endpoint. And then I'm actually passing some uh, authentication and authorization uh, information like the CSRT, CERT and key. So this, this information you would actually get from your cube master. So if I go on to my cube master and if I do kubectl describe pod and I want to look for the namespace which is cube system and the pod name would be etcd cube master. So you'll get this information over here. So you just scroll up and in the etcd configuration you would see that the url in, in fact you will even get the url right so you, you get the url you get the cert file which is server.crt you get 
the key file which is server.key and you get the ca cert file which is over here so by default these file will not be present on your uh, workstation node so you actually have to go and create it right you have to copy the values from the master or you can just simply i mean if i think the uh, ssh connectivity is available between your workstation and your master yes uh, so you can simply do an scp of these files onto your uh, workstation node or you can just do cat over here and just copy and paste it in your right so just simple thing and then you can actually take the backup using this command so hcd ctl snapshot save is the command that you take and that you use to take the backup so this is the simple command and this command will not work because it will require some authorization some authentication right so to provide that we pass this uh, ca cert cert and key so the options are pretty easy i mean in exam people have told me that the hcd backup and restore documentation is actually out of uh, your uh, i mean what urls you are allowed to access in the exam right and that is i think true so you actually have to remember this thing you actually have to remember this command and it's pretty easy it's just this part which is tricky sometimes i forget to pass the api version hcd ctl api and after that it's just hcd ctl snapshot save so if you run this command it will actually tell you that snapshot ta save takes an uh, argument so you need to provide the location from where you want to um, where you want to take the backup of this right and once you provide this it will fail with authentication and authorization error so then you know that you need to provide some authentication which is csert and if you just do i mean help on this hcd ctl it will show you the option that you need to pass so csert cert and key three options that you need to pass and you will get that information in your cube master so now if i run this command so you can see that backup i mean it was pretty quick because it's it's a very small cluster right so you can see the backup has been saved to data uh, slash data slash backup dot db and in the same way you can just restore you can use i mean you can use the help to see what is the restore command it is snapshot restore command and you just need to pass the uh, location from where you want to restore uh, once done that i think you need to update this file so i think there's an option data directory so you need to update this uh, so from where you want to actually uh, restore i mean from where you want to uh, basically how should i put it so you actually need to go and update your data directory uh, let me just uh, show you how so i was going through the kubernetes documentation of restoring an hcd cluster so you can see it says before starting the restore operation a snapshot file must be present so we have already taken the snapshot it can either be a snapshot file or previous backup or from remaining data directory from more information and then you it has given a link for more information if the access url of the restore cluster is changed from the previous kubernetes api server must be reconfigured so but that will probably not happen in our case we will keep the access url as same because we are running locally as the kube api server right so that will not change in our case that this is for uh, suppose if you are running etcd out of your api server that is that you are running an exclusive uh, hcd cluster but in uh, kubernetes ckd exam or ck exam that doesn't happen the hcd runs on the same node as the api server right so this option you don't need and if i just check this link so this is a link to a github uh, url so this probably you won't be able to access because this is a github url and i don't think so github is allowed i don't remember actually uh, so they have given the command to how to actually do the restore so you do hcd snapshot restore command you provide the snapshot which you have taken and then there are a few options that you need to initial cluster so this will remain same for us right i think if i check my uh, master node so initial cluster information you'll probably get from here so this will remain same right so this you don't need to change uh, initial cluster token you can set this thing to anything whatever you want and i think initial peers all this information will remain same 
and I think you actually can modify the data directory. So var lib etcd, I mean, you can do something like etcd1 or something. So, I mean, I actually in exam, I didn't get the question to do a restore. I got a question for backup. Restore is actually a little confusing. So I'll probably do, I mean, do some restores myself and then probably create a uh, separate video for restore. So probably this video, you can just take it for uh, how to take a etcd backup, which I've shown you from your remote workstation, right? Like over here. So probably the next video I'll create is for restoring uh, uh, etcd cluster, right? From the backup we have taken. So I actually have to go and do some research on my own, right? So yeah, so this is it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Probably, I mean, at least we have covered 50% of what we wanted to and maybe next 50 will cover in the next video. So please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yep, thank you for watching.